If you are a freelancer who is using Upwork to acquire clients or you are using Upwork as an agency to acquire clients, this is actually going to work for you. This actually helps you to identify a fake employer profile or recruiter profile that are on Upwork and helps you to save connect so that you can actually end up sending the data of your connect to the right employer profiles or the real employer profiles, which also increases your chances of acquiring clients on Upwork. So this particular video was not pre-planned. I did not plan this video. I just came across, I was just checking my Upwork and I was trying to look for gigs and I came across this particular page. Forget about the fact that it is made in Nigeria or it is built for Nigerians or it is Nigeria. Forget about the fact that this employer profile is built for Nigeria. But I'm going to show you how to avoid some profiles. They are non-Nigerian profile that are actually built to rank accounts. I will show you how to avoid this kind of profile. I've seen the profile and I noticed that it was built to rank um um freelancer account so what you can do is you can try to avoid this account and wasting connect on this account this account has over 15 to 20 people that have tried to apply to it it's as um over one as someone jobs posted it's five percent higher risk which is more or less like okay if you are somebody who is a new freelancer when you see something like this you are more inclined to send a proposal to this um, client but these are four four connects and these 15 to 20 people have actually wasted their connects as far as this account is concerned this account has spent 1.2k in total spend and, and five five dollar uh, hourly um, average uh, rate speed to client to customers. So the first thing you are going to use to identify if this um, employer profile is actually fake and so that you don't waste your connect on it is that um, the first way you go to the job in progress or the job history, jobs in progress and jobs history. The first thing you are going to see is that this particular profile has five stars all true. From the employee, from the uh, from the freelancer to the employer, from the employer to the freelancer, this account had uh, five stars all through. You can go through the reviews as well, read the reviews and see, try to see if this looks manufactured or if this actually looks real. Now, it is impossible for us to have over forty jobs as a business or as a real business, as a real um, employer account, as a real uh, um, how do we call it recruiter account. It can be a recruiter account as well, but if you are a recruiter account. It is impossible for you to hire 40 plus um, freelancers and every single person does a great job for you. So there are going to be four um, four uh, reviews or four stars. There are going to be three star reviews. There are going to be two stars. There are going to be those that will be terrible because you cannot employ 40 people and give everybody five stars. This is impossible. You give them five stars, they give you five stars. It is impossible. So that's the number one thing you used to know that, okay, this account might actually be fake. Then you see $5, $5, $10, $5. Obviously, somebody paid um, to the recruiter, to the person who was the recruiter account to hire them to the job. So the, the first thing is obviously you look at it here, you see, okay, this is IAS one. Obviously somebody has been hired for this job. Interviewing, there is no interviewer. So out of these 15 to 20 people that sent the proposal, none was interviewed for this job. So which means obviously the job is fake. This is a copywriter for landing pages or sales page. Obviously this job is fake because I actually have a copywriting profile on Upwork here. So invite sends one so it is the same person that the invite was sent to that was hired for this particular job which means this particular gig or this particular job was posted, posted particularly for that one person who is going to be hired on Upwork obviously Upwork will make their own money from the commissions that were shared there and I'm not saying it is a bad thing for you to actually do this to rank your profile if it is new that's really up to you but I don't believe in it I prefer working for foreign clients and if you are going to be buying this I prefer to even buy from a foreign account if I'm going to buy uh, these uh, um, reviews. I would prefer to buy it from a foreign account. But if you are still trying to build your account and rank it, you might try something like this. I don't advise it, but you might try it. I don't judge you. I'm not going to judge you for that. Because when I was new as well, I was desperate for jobs. So you might be desperate and decide to try something like this. So we have um, expert SEO content writer about beauty industry and stuff like that. The second thing I like to do to actually identify if an account is fake if um, I'm going to just be wasting my money, look at these people, they actually bid $50, $26, $10, try to get the job, but they've wasted their connect. We all know, uh, we all agree that they wasted their connect and we don't want to wait, we don't want to waste our connect because we usually spend that then money to pay for this connect. I still got a connect for over 20 something dollars a few days ago. So, uh, what is the second thing? The second thing I try to do is to try to relate uh, the uh, gigs to each other. I'm going to explain how I relate gigs to each other. Okay, so when it comes to relating gigs to each other, what I try to do is I try to understand that I try to just use my own, this is just my own discretion in this case, and I'm just hoping that it also helps you as well. So in that case, I try to like, okay, think of the employer profile as a real business or a real recruiter. 
One thing I've learned about recruiter is, uh, recruiters is that uh, most recruiters actually focus on a particular industry. So if a, a recruiter is in the tech industry, that recruiter only hires from the tech industry. If a recruiter is in the uh, is in the manufacturing industry or construction industry, that recruiter is only hires from the manufacturing industry. So if I was a business, obviously, if I'm operating a single business, if I was a particular business, the departments I'll be hiring gigs for will be departments. I might, I might hire corporate, I might hire a website designer, I might hire a developer, I might hire different things. But I'll be hiring departments within my company. That's number one if I was a proper uh, uh, manager. So you will see if, let's say, for example, I own an agency, I'll be hiring project managers, I'll be hiring marketers, I'll be hiring developers. Those are the people I'll be hiring if I own a development agency. So if you now see somebody who is a developer, uh, sorry, who is owning a development agency, you can just use from what they are saying. You can use what they are saying, you can use who they are hiring, you can use the names on the or the job itself to estimate okay this is the kind of business that um these people are running then you can now look at the relationship between the gigs at this, to this look real now will one company hire a pipe drive integration and automation guru hire clavi us parts goes to the same company okay let's even assume the company is a beauty is in the beauty industry maybe it's in the beauty commerce and the company after hiring this pipeline drive uh email designer with Clavio. Uh, hire the content writer with for the beauty industry. Then the company now goes back to hire uh, a what's this? This is a small business website designer. Then goes to Mailchimp again. After you've already you're already using Clavi, you why go to Mailchimp again? We didn't have many months from each other. This is June 2023. This is July 2023. So, which is obviously looking weird already. Now you go to Clavio again. You are back to Clavio again. You're back to Bubble. Obviously, I know that this is coming from the oldest to the. Uh, most recent but you can look it both ways it doesn't matter the ways you look it doesn't matter the ways you look at it doesn't matter same june the same month you have gone from one email marketing software to another email marketing software moved from clavio to so which is obviously not going to be right so let's say okay this is we assume that this is a recruiter account not a business account so now this same person is hiring an email automation expert after you've hired somebody to work on clavio here we same june then you hired an email automation expert then now email list validation specialist um, UI UX. Now we are back to UI UX. We've left a designer. We are back to UI UX. Now we are on Mailchimp again. Now we are back to grant research and writing the parts needed. You are you are looking for different friends. Okay, let's say you are looking for funding in this case. So obviously all of this combined, you are starts is raising the red flags for this particular account that this is not a real account. Now we are back to Bobo, Bobo.io. We are we are back to write NSF and DOD grant proposals. This is grant proposals. So you just say highly responsive client. Thank you. Thank you, Esther. Highly responsive or professional. I will show you again. So obviously, you know, this was not a real job that was that was posted. This is go high level landing page. And so on and so forth. Fitness. Now we are back to fitness company. We have moved from beauty. We are back to we are now into fitness brand. So you can see from there that okay, this thing is not related. This is one page opt-in funnel, beauty in click funnel. You are back to you are using click funnel again. You are no longer using go high level or clavio or Shopify or whatever. Now you are working on e-learning certification course. So this is a very unrelated uh, field and very unrelated uh, gigs that are posted. So you can easily estimate that this is a fake account. This is a fake uh, employer profile. And none of these jobs were actually, we are back to Etsy. Uh, this is Etsy. So this is crypto API expert needed to have this bug in my code. These are, these are not real uh, jobs. So if you see this, make sure that you avoid them and you don't um, waste your connect on them. You hard them connect on them, especially if you're a Nigerian freelancer. We all know how I the dollar rate is currently right now. So just use this to avoid this particular type of account. So take your research very don't just run to rush to because you see the money, you see the take your research, take your time to research on each employer profile and make sure that they are not fake jobs. Grant writer for operation. So make sure that you avoid this, watch this and avoid them before you hire them to do these jobs for you also sorry to uh, before you send the proposals to them so that you get a job. So all of this combined together will help you to actually Make sure that you get uh, you write your proposals to a real client on Upwork, and you don't keep losing your money. So if you enjoyed the video, all you have to do is just hit the like button, and please subscribe because I love that subscription. It makes me actually feel good that somebody is interested in hearing what I have to say. Thank you. See you next time.